So I know that there's a general uh, right-wing obsession with the complaint that migrants are being housed in five-star hotels. Uh, we know of one hotel firm, one hotel chain called Britannia Hotels, which um, was named the worst hotel chain for 10 years running, according to a survey conducted by which. And yet, Britannia Hotels, um, owned by a man called Alex Langsam, in the uh, founded it in the 1970s, uh, has now um, agreed to take uh, oh a, hu a huge a huge number of um, it, it, a hundred it, it's getting a hundred thousand a day. Um, its company is now making a thirty three point four million pound um, profit. It's getting lucrative contract contracts because of Suella Braverman. How? How? This is the thing which I don't I don't quite understand. How is this happening? And uh, we also know that there are contracts on hotel groups where the hotel rooms are largely empty. How can that be possible when other reports suggest there's uh, three or four or five to a squashed into a room? And the food is appalling. the 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 rhetoric and the reality don't add up, and some of these contracts with the hotel chains are on quite a long term basis. So, even if Suella Braverman or the government were to sort out the backlog, they'd still be paying these hotel chains for the foreseeable future. For what? For housing who? government ministers <laughs> this is there's an element of madness in the way the home office uh, has progressed it's all about rhetoric it's all about the big image and it's all about satisfying some very vicious individuals who want to make a point uh, and who will insist wrongly that the Bibby stock home is a place for illegal migrants. What we were told very clearly was that the Bibby Stockholm was going to be used for migrants whose cases had already been partially agreed. So they were effectively moving into the refugee status. So not illegal migrants at all. There's, uh, there has to come a point where the rhetoric pauses and reality sets in.